Hi all, it's me, Angela. I just wanted to come on and let you know that I'm doing this uh, pour today. I said I was coming on the other day, but it just got too swelting hot. And when it's hot and humid, it, you just can't do anything about painting. Anyway, I'm, I'm in my studio and it's very nice and cool down here. So I'm able to do my art pour at least. And then uh, for the next two weeks, I don't know if I'm gonna be around. Uh, to do any art so you guys could put up all the art you want and keep being my inspiration I love it. I love that you guys share all your art and that you help me with my account I'm very sorry. I left uh, Facebook TikTok, and Twitter. It's just getting to be too much for me and um, I'm staying mostly on Instagram with my Plogus art gallery and I'm staying on YouTube So those two for good. I can't be on so many social media pages. It's just getting too too, too stressful for me. This little 62-year-old lady is wearing out. But I love you all to pieces. I'm very sorry that I left. But like I said, I will see you all here and on Instagram. If you follow me. If you don't, I understand. I have a lot of followers. So, um, yeah. Anyway, just thank you to all the likes, all the new subscribers, all the old subscribers. I thank you all. I love you all so much to death and we're gonna bring you down so you can see what I do right there we go that's good right there I think I want it to be a little straighter this let's see I think that's good that's perfect right there what do you think guys like you could really talk to me <laughs> I let me see yeah, I think that's good right there. Uh, let me put my hair up. Don't want to get my hair all full of paint. That is for sure. All right, uh, here we go. Let me get this. Uh, this is to turn on the light, uh, the light around, you know, this area. So I'm just going to pour some background paint in the background. And this paint, I just mixed it with Lotro. And uh, that's about it, just with Lotro. So. I do love these uh, sticks because they're the type of sticks that you could really, um, you know, stir really good. And you could wash them and you reuse them again. So very good. Uh, sticks to have. I'm just gonna turn off the music because I don't know if you can hear me. Um, let's do no music today. Respect the uh, YouTube people. Uh, <coughs> get a little water. Yeah. Just get a little water. Um, I have a knife over there. I do. And I need, I need these uh, tissues, of course. You always need tissues when you're working with pores because with pores, you always got to use tissues. Yeah, let's put a little water in here. Kind of liquefy it a little bit more. Let's see. I've been looking at all your paintings. You guys are doing so great. I love all, all the uh, all paints, uh, regular acrylic paints, all so graciously beautiful. And uh, yeah, I like to look at them all because it uh, kind of keeps me up to date with my art, and especially with my pores. I want to try that marble one. I haven't tried that one yet, but that's the one I want to try next. Mm. Uh, most of the colors in this one, it's all mostly from Prism Pour, Colorette. You can see Leslie for them or Sakya Smith. But all the colors I'm using today are all from 
the Colorette Company. I have one from Lucas and it's from uh, Jerry Autorama. I like his paints too. He has paints that are liquefied. You could buy them liquefied already. So that's a good thing. I like that. Uh, oh, and there's one that's the Deco Art. It's Blue Sheen. And I'm still not uh, sure if I'm going to use it. We'll see how this goes. You know, because you know, I like to pour and do it as I go along and see if I want a certain color in the painting itself. So. So I've been very busy with the gallery and uh, there's something new that we're going to be doing soon. And uh, as soon as I, I lounge, uh, lunge, what they call it lounge, like you put something out there, I'll let you guys know so you can probably go see it or tell me what you think about it. But uh, we're going to do something new. It should be starting August. Perfect time. Maybe around my birthday. <laughs> August 22nd, I'll be 22. Yeah, sure. Don't I wish, right? <laughs> Yeah, I don't wish I was 22. Although I had a very good 22. Well, my life has been really good. I can't complain about anything. Oh, this white looks so good. Yeah, it's nice. Going nice and smooth. I hope it's not too thick. I hope the colors move. Although the prism pour colors are pretty thick, I have to add water to get it to a good consistency. The thing is trying to get everything to the right consistency. Yeah, you have to really do a lot of measurement to make sure your colors are consistently measured right. Almost the same consistency. So, yeah. And this spatula, I got it from uh, Heather Mater. You could go to her Amazon page. She sells these. She gets a little bit out of it. I don't know exactly how much, but something is better than nothing to help your cold friends, your other artist people involved in painting. So, that's one way to help. All right, I'm going to uncover all these colors. And as I uncover the colors, I'm going to tell you the name of the colors. So get ready. Let's see if this one is too, too thick. I think this one is pretty good. I want it a little thick, not too thick. So this color is Prism Pour color. Prism Pour. And this one is the color of... Um, Let's see, it says it in the bottom. It's a uh, scarb, scarb beetles, scarb beetles. It's almost like a nice kind of burgundy color. I like it, I love it, it's so pretty. But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw it on the canvas side. Don't know how everything is gonna turn out. I just want it to just be here somewhere somewhere in my canvas and i don't want to mix it too much because i don't want the white taking over the actual color <clears throat> you see how the white gets in it so that's not that's what i don't want so i'm just gonna do that and leave it like that Leave it like that. That's good. Oh, no, you, you mosquito. Get out of here. You better not get in my paint because you're going to be swallowed up by my paint. I'll make sure that you get swallowed up by the paint. <laughs> All right, so that color I use, Scarbo Edo. Now I have another color here. 
Uh, this color almost looked like that one too. No, but this one is more like a magenta, which I love. I like the color magenta. It's a very beautiful color. And I'm going to wear it up here. Look at that. That's such a gorgeous color, isn't it? Just leave the cup there. That's what I'll do. Ugh. Throw the plastic over there. Throw the spoon over there. And that color is uh, Prison Pour Mystical Marv. It's Mystical Marv. <laughs> and that's Tiger Eye. Tiger Eye. Prison Pour. Again, Tiger Eye. It's a tiger eye kind of copper copper color looks like uh, now I have a regular blue and this is a blue from uh, deco art is it from deco art I gotta I gotta look at the bottle I'm not even sure myself Ugh, it's a beautiful blue this is a uh, deco art metallic paint and it's sapphire. This is a beautiful blue. It's got a lot of sheen to it, just like all the other colors that I pulled down, that they look like they got a nice sheen to it. <laughs> now this is one that's different also. It's Lucas Paint. The color is Marv. You could get these at, at uh, Jerry Autorama. He has oh, the best paints because his paints are you could buy them liquid or you could buy them really thick. Well, you know, like a lot of paints, you could buy them translucent or you could buy them really thick, you know. Opaque. We call it. Oh, this is a really beautiful color, burgundy color. So I'm just going to pour it here across. Because it's a beautiful burgundy color. I love it. I love this color. It's gorgeous. I use this color so much that I buy it over and over again. So, yeah, because I like the magenta color in it. It's more, more it's called Marv. Uh, yeah, so. And uh, this is the bottle. And it has the number on it. So that's from Jerry Artaramers. Uh, is uh crimson lust it's like a reddish color crimson lust by color red also multi-surface acrylic paint you can put it on canvas wood metal and glass it's made in the usa and it has a lot of brilliancy to it like a lot of shine and that's what i like about these paints the shine that it has it's so gorgeous really Okay. And this is the last color I'm going to put on, which is going to be a white. But we'll see how it, how it changes, how it turns. Once I finish and I push these colors around. Let's see, you can either push them around with a spatula or you could push them around with a blower. Let's see if I do it with the blower. Is it going to be good or bad? I don't know. We'll find out. Wouldn't we? Uh, let's hit this button.
is Lois had it. So, and some of them are not moving because it depends on the paint, you know, and how much water I put in it to get consistency. But that's why I have a, another cup here of just plain old white paint. And it has water in it, so we'll see what happens. Make sure I made it a little bit kind of more watery than anything because I want the paints to really drag on. I kind of mix. I want the colors to mix, so let's see what happens if I tilt it. Let it move. Movement, but not enough. So let's see if the white will help somehow. Where would I put this white? All this white I have. It's a lot of white. Let's put some white in here. get the blue moving some. Uh, that burgundy does not need movement. It moved enough. <laughs> it almost took over the whole canvas here. But I'm going to put some white in it. Swipey, swipey, swipey. And I love to swipey, swipey, swipey. Yeah, I love to swipey, swipey. Swipey, swipey, yeah. I like to swipe it. Swipe it and get it going. That's all you gotta do. Just swipe it. I may have more cells than I want it, but it's okay. Better to have cells and not have any composition for your artwork. Yeah, so let's get this white going more. Go. Let's see. Oh yeah, I like that. I like the way the blue is stretched out. Sorry that my back of my head is to you guys, but uh, just need to work on this copper here. My tiger, I think it's a tiger. Tiger, go, go, tiger. Mm -hmm. The thing about this color, you can move it around. Yep, you can move it around. But you always going to have whatever color is underneath is going to mix with it. So. Yeah, I'll be up in a minute. Let's try to draw. 
drag this out to this corner because it looks kind of like an empty corner. I don't want it to be an empty corner here. This one's a little flatter, so I don't want any kind of ridges on it. So I just want to drag it up like that. Mm. Oh my god, these colors are so beautiful, so metallic. -y. You know? Oh, here we go. Here's the one. the one I was looking for. This one I got from Sakya, my friend Sakya. Oh, I call it. Right. I should give it another tilt. Give it a little blow with the blower. Let me try the blower one more time. See if I can spread some more colors there. Just to spread the colors a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm.
is it. I'm going to see if I get some of these bubbles that I see that I'm not happy with and see if they go away. Yeah. bubbles up here. Uh, this looks good over here. Let's see, where did I see bubbles? Oh, over here. On the Mars color. I don't want the blue. This is why I usually strain my paint before I use it, because uh, you could get little lumps in your paint. Okay. Oh, this is good. All well, down here is good. Very good. Nice and shiny, the way I want it to be. Very shiny. It's okay. Once it dries, I could always go over the edges with a little bit of the same as that paint so that that way I don't have different colors going into those areas. I'm going to let you guys go and maybe I'll go upstairs and prep my, prep my chicken breast for dinner. Some basil, some basil. Okay, let me see. Okay, this kind of looks so cool over here. I want it to be the same color blue. Okay, so as it drips off, it's going to drip just a little bit because it's the kind of paint that stays, you know, put once you put it down. That's it. Doesn't change much. And like I said, the edges, I'm just going to go over them. Once it completely dry, I'm going to go over the edges, all the edges. All these edges, I'm going to paint them probably the same color that's on top. Yeah, I may do that. Why not? to look nice so that is it for today guys uh, never leave your heat gun where it could fall on the floor and cause a fire if you have rugs be very careful with heat guns torch especially torch down now so you can see the results of this art piece. See. 
The only thing about these paintings, you never know how they look until you really show them, you know, show them on, on a cam, on a, on a frame. And once you frame it, it looks really good. Oh, <laughs> my cup fell down, all right. They fell down inside another container. There we go. All right, let me show you close up, guys. Right, this is the left hand corner wait how which way was it going yeah this way okay so that's the left hand corner mm -hmm. just looks like a whole bunch of rocky mountain going on in here i love these colors all together yeah love the way it turned out like a little ocean water in the middle yeah then you got the burgundy uh mauve color coming down and all those beautiful cells everywhere i just put silicone in the mauve color one that's about it well that one and which one else there was another one i put silicone silicone to it look at those cells they are so pretty they're tiny because uh, silicone don't give you big big cells yeah but uh i love it you gotta try not to shake it too much. If you shake it too much, then your cells are gonna be very tiny. And I put cells in this one. And I mean, you know, just a little came through because I didn't put a lot, like I said. Yeah. I'm happy with this one. Uh, let's call it Colorful Mountain. Yeah. Love you guys. Bye bye.